Who attacks first? You attack first. I attack first. I'm impressed. No one's been able to get out of you. What you did with the map. I mean, what do you think? Your technique. I love that scene. This is only one Kenobi. Only one. I love that scene. I really did like The Force Awakens when I saw it in the cinema. It was just kind of like uh, Star Wars Heaven or something going on there. Three more subsequent views of it, and then you, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Mr. Blanket. And he's very right, you know, it's a bit like a new house. It's like, wow. And then when you kind of look behind the curtains a bit, you know, you realize there's a few cracks in the framework. But, oh no, nothing will ever change the way it, I, I, I still love it, of course. But uh, one of my favorite scenes was the, where is it? Where is it? I <laughs> just fucking using the force on him and he's like, Aah! anyway, I wonder, hello, sorry, I'd like to talk to you about Poe Dameron. Now then, he has been announced to be coming back in the Vintage Collection, and one would presume to be a Force Awakens card. <clears throat> it's pretty obvious that we're going to do that, because all of these figures, I knew they were going to repack him. Because, like, look at him. He was a repack. He was in that line as well. Um, funnily enough, ironically enough, I got this one not long ago from the Entertainer for £5 in the UK. So he was a very hard find a while ago, not long ago in the UK. Now you can walk into a shop and just get him for a fiver. Um, but even even though I now have him, I'm, this is one I'm going to open up for you later. Stay tuned. I'm going to open him up and I'm going to show you all the other Poe Dameron's I have and talk about this new one they're, bring, they're going to bring out for the Vintage Collection. Um, I'm still pleased they're going to put it on a card. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, it's a repack, we don't want it. Yes, of course you are, because you either already own it or you're just not interested in the character of Poe Dameron. Um, look at me. I'm a carded collector, I can't wait to have him on that card, that'll be ace. And also, it's not going to be completely the same as this one, even though I have to say that this is a... I'll show you later, I'll show you later, I'll get out of the package and you can't really see it there. It's an updated head sculpt, isn't it? So, um, apparently it's good, but that's really good Oscar Isaacs, that I think. But yeah, they've, they've done something to it, so anyway, so it's going to be kind of half new, or partially new. Um, but yeah, I... I um, can imagine it may be peg warming, who knows? But anyway, uh, if I hadn't found that one for myself, I'd be jumping for joy even more because obviously it'd be coming out and I could probably get another one, but I don't have to. All I have to do is buy one on the vintage card and I've got that one there. I'm fairly happy with that one as an articulated Poe Dameron. And at that point, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go through to the other room. I'm going to show you this one open and all my other Poe Dameron's. Let's get it on. All right, here we go. So this video is kind of relevant because it's topical at the minute because Poe Dameron is the latest announcement for the Vintage Collection, as mentioned before. And this is the first time I've taken a Black Series Poe Dameron fully articulated out of the packaging and, well, I'm really pleased. It's always good when you get a figure out the packaging because you can articulate him. That's all I want to do with him as far as a pose is concerned for Poe, for a, po for a pose for Poe for now. There you go, that just shows you the power of articulation, especially in arms, because, you know, much as some of these figures are really great, these five POAs, the texture and the, the sculpts and head sculpts and whatever else are really good. You can't beat a little bit of arm articulation so you can get a bit of action going on there, you know what I mean? By the way, I have a stencil with only one Kenobi on it, by the way. I've noticed a few of my co-YouTubers are announcing merch and stuff. I thought you needed hundreds of thousands of subscribers to do merch, but... If any of you would like an Only One Kenobi t-shirt, it could be arranged with that stencil there. But anyway, back to Poe. So for me to do a review of this figure is a little bit old now. He's been around for a while. But as I said before, he will be coming back, albeit with an updated head sculpt. But that one itself is not that bad at all. And on that note, I thought I'd show you some of the old figures for Poe Dameron. Going back to this one, this was the first, I believe, the first figure for Poe that ever came out. The first waves of the Force Awakens line. Not that great a figure, really. The helmet is not removable, and that visor, you can't see through it at all. So that's only really worthy of being in an X-Wing. If I got ever got an X-Wing, a Poe Dameron X-Wing, I'd put him in it. Because he's not really worthy of anything else. Uh, when The Last Jedi came out, we all ran out, didn't we, to uh, Force Friday to get figures. I saw this guy on the shelf, and I thought, well, I'll get him as well, because I was, you know, that's all I had for a Poe at the time. 
I knew I couldn't articulate him, and deep down I really wanted him, but he wasn't really findable in the UK. So I got this guy, and he's not bad, except, as I said before, you can't do much with his arms. But he looks good, and of course the helmet is removable. Um, I do believe as well, speaking of the Poe Dameron's X-Wing, that's not on very well, you got a pilot with that, with a removable helmet, so he's pretty much the same figure, I guess. Sorry about that, Poe, I can't really do much. I've got one camera, a camera in one hand, so I can't do much about sorting your helmet. And I just thought I'd show you this one, because this is, let's just get the light on it. In terms of an Oscar Isaac head sculpt, I thought that was a really good one. He's got his class, his jacket, not Finn's, Finn's, he's stolen it. Um, but yeah, look at that, he's got that classic Oscar Isaac's grin there. Not bad, again, these five POAs, then they aren't bad, you know. They aren't bad at all, good sculpts. But apparently this new vintage collection figure is gonna have this updated head sculpt. So it will look, look at this shameless self-promotion here, me padding the camera to my logo. It's gonna look great, isn't it? It's gonna be great to um, have another Poe. I have no problem with it. I think everybody should buy it as well. So they've got one with an updated head sculpt, a half decent one as well. Even though this one, as I say, is not that bad. I think he's even got a little bit of stubble. But yeah, I just love Rebel Pilots, man. It's nice to see a little bit of continuity with the original trilogy. And a little bit of, you know, something new. The helmets are different and the logo on that kind of, you know, gilet thing there. So it's all good. So yeah, the vintage collection. Poe Dameron, I'm all for it. I'm looking forward to it. What do you think? Do you like Poe? I like Poe. I was going to say one thing about Poe Dameron. I never really used to be that fussed on him because I didn't trust him. I thought he was going to turn out to be some sort of spy for the First Order because... I didn't like the way he just disappeared in The uh, Force Awakens and then just magically reappeared. And he was a little bit too nice for my like, and I thought there was something about him that wasn't trustworthy. But in The Last Jedi, I thought he was really good in that. You saw him develop massively as a character. And he is really funny in The Force Awakens. He's a good character. And I like, I mentioned Mr. Plinkett before. I love the way he said it, and lots of people have said, actually, he is a hybrid character. He's a Han Solo, Wes and Wedge Antilles hybrid which is cool, you know, so it just makes for a new character. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.